welcome back to Time Frontline. Jay here, continuing our full cards of DC Rebirth. Today I'm going to be reviewing Titans number one. The title of this issue is The Return of Wally West Part 1, Run for Your Life. It was written by Dan Abnett, pencils by Brett Booth, inks by Norm Ratman, colors by Andrew Dollhouse, and letters by Carlos M. Mangola. The Titans try to figure out who is behind the missing time and memories in their world using Omen's psychic powers. While Omen digs through Wally's mind, Arsenal and Donna Troy head out to find Mammoth to get a clue about Mr. Twister, who they suspect could be behind everything. The story was really good. The beginning made me think of, oh man, here's another you know, recap we're getting. And I get it, it's because this is a number one. We can't take for granted that people read um, Uni DC Universe Rebirth or Titans Rebirth, which they should read both of those, so the short, here's what you need to know is warranted here, I think. This issue focused a lot on Wally, which was good. I like seeing Linda again. It felt like the beginning of their series run for me. But I wanted more Titan content. There were some great moments, especially Donna and Roy, and some with Garth. But it still needed um, something. I don't know. It seemed a bit off. Maybe they needed a tower? But the story is very solid, and I give it four and a half stars. The art here is solid as well. I really like Wally, Nightwing, Tempest, and Donna, but I think the art lacked on Arsenal and Omen. Now, that could just be that I don't feel the designs for them, but the art just seemed off with them for me. But I did enjoy the art overall, and I give the art four and a half stars. Overall, this was a really great start for the Titans. They are being proactive and finding out the answers to what happened to their world, their memories, and their missing time. I really like that Donna Troy says how it affected her. It, it makes this whole story more personal for me. It's also just a, it's not just like this mission for them, you know, it's something personal. I'm excited to see how the story unfolds. So with the story getting four and a half stars and the art getting four and a half stars, I get an overall of four and a half stars that say pick it up. Well, those are my thoughts. Now I want to know yours in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline, check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater, check out ComicFrontline.com, the site, for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with fun, unique features with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow me, The Comic Book Theater, Media Manus and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and download Frontline Live every week on iTunes for free. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.